Hello. I have a one-year-old daughter. She's trying to figure out how to speak. She talks in this deep, raspy, nonsense voice. Like the other day, she was like, Mama. And my wife was like, oh my God, she said mama. And I was like, yeah, I think she put a curse on you. Like, maybe we shouldn't get her baptized. She might vaporize or something. Um, I was on an all-white double date at a Mexican restaurant. We, we didn't plan it like that. And my wife's friend's boyfriend ordered his meal in Spanish. And he thought we were all going to be really impressed. Like the waiter was going to be like, this gringo. This gringo is my essay. I wasn't impressed. I was so embarrassed that I didn't even want to order the, my food with the Spanish names. I was like, yeah, can I get the ground beef wraps? And uh, one of those lemon lime slushies made with Joseph Crow. Like I said, I'm a parent. Uh, when I was a kid, my mom used to always worry that her kids were going to become like the music that they listened to. Like if they listen to a lot of gangster rap, they might become like a thug or a drug dealer. Or if they listen to a lot of death metal, they might start worshiping Satan. And I think there might be some truth to that. Because my younger brother listens to Ingrid Michaelson and Regina Spector. And nobody likes him. Uh, I'm an amateur comedian. I'm a big fan of that First Amendment, freedom of speech. But uh, I feel like a lot of people just don't understand it completely. Like, they'll be like, they'll say something really messed up to somebody else. And that person will come back at them and say something. They'll be like, whoa, I've got freedom of speech. Back off. <laughs> like, the First Amendment doesn't work where you can use it against somebody. And then they don't get a chance to use it back at you. You're thinking of the Second Amendment. Um, I grew up in the church, a lot of different churches. I stopped going. I feel like too many churches are just too obsessed with money. Um, like the last one I went to uh, was doing product placement. Like I got there and they had the praise and worship songs up on the wall and it said, Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above. But can he see why kids love the taste of cinnamon toast? Crunch, our God is an awesome God. There have been a lot of uh, clown sightings in my hometown. People are freaking out. They're so scared of clowns. And I just feel bad for like regular clowns who are just trying to be funny. Because if you're trying to be a funny and not scary clown, you have no role models. I can think of three famous clowns. One is famous for killing children in a book. One is famous for killing children in real life. And one is famous for selling hamburgers, which are killing children in real life. Uh, I was on Pinterest, browsing Pinterest. I saw this woman who posted a picture of Michael Vick in a button-up shirt looking really good. And she put as the caption, sexy chocolate. And I thought that was the best nickname ever because Michael Vick is so handsome and so bad for dogs. <laughs> All right, thank you. My name is James Etchison.